Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all having an awesome Thursday. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. I wanted to finish up the rest of the tiny builds from the original Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone line. So I've selected three sets for today. 4701, The Sorting Hat from 2001. 4711, Flying Lesson from 2002 and 4712 Troll on the Loose, also from 2002. So stick around to the end to hear my review and let's get started. Alright, so here we have the completed sets. I think at regular speed these sets maybe took me 15 minutes to build all three of them. So super quick builds, but still a lot of fun and they all have some really great minifigures and parts. So I'll start first with 4701 The Sorting Hat. The piece that spins here at the base to sort your minifigure is one of my all-time favorite pieces. I think it's so great um, that you can just spin it and it'll decide for you which house your minifigure could be sorted into. So I know as a child we sorted tons of minifigures into different houses. I, I did always hate that they never had any minifigures with torsos from Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff. Those haven't been produced until even really recent years. But when we were kids, we were sorting ours into Gryffindor anyway. So generally, we would spin the wheel, sort our minifigure, and then put them in a torso that had the Gryffindor logo on it. So this was probably a $5 set. Um, very quick to build. I think it's, you know, 30 pieces or less. A very tiny build. But we had tons of fun being able to sort our minifigures. It didn't have, uh, you know, a printed 
hat yet. We've just got like a standard black hat. I do like that about the newer sets that they have the, you know, the print for the sorting hat, which makes it feel a little more realistic. And I do really love the owls from this time. I think those are very nice, very simple, plain owls, but they just add a little extra element to the set. Now this next one is teeny tiny. I think it maybe cost $3 originally. It was a box set, however, and did come with two minifigures. So you've got Harry and you've got Draco Malfoy. I don't know if I've displayed him yet, but a great minifigure. He's holding the little remember all piece. Um, I really liked that they used a head a minifigure head to make that remember all piece. Um, and I like that they even made this a set at all. The flying lesson where, you know, Harry really discovers his flying abilities and he rescues the remember all for Neville. It was just a really classic scene from that first movie. A really tiny set, but definitely one to remember remember all to um, create a set for because it was just a big moment in that book. And then last we have Troll in the Dungeon, which was one of my all-time favorite sets from the original series. Do a close-up for you. The Troll minifigure is just amazing. I don't know if that body was ever used for anything else, but he is just super cool love sand blue, love the sand blue head, the uh, little rags they have him wearing too are really interesting. Like I've always said, I like fabric pieces and those are great. You've even got kind of the club that he's holding to recreate the scene. And this set felt appropriate to do right now. We've got the pumpkin on top because it was Halloween in that portion of the movie. So since Halloween's on its way, really great. So just like a little bathroom, we've got the sink here as well, which actually comes down. So, you know, you can kind of destroy things. This from the top, those pieces fall. So to recreate that, that bathroom scene, I was really surprised they didn't put um, Ron in here or Hermione since Hermione was at least the one that was in the bathroom that you know Harry came to protect from the troll he and Ron together I think um, you know they were trying to keep the cost of the set down but I really think at least Hermione should have been in this set too just since she was the one being protected she was the instigator of this whole situation but these are all great little sets most of which are still really affordable. So um, if you are still looking to add some sets to your Harry Potter collection, these are all great because for the most part, they're relatively inexpensive at current prices. So I definitely recommend them if you have the opportunity or the desire to purchase them. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. See you next time. If you'd like a For Bricks and Giggles t-shirt like the one I'm wearing, go to my webpage link in the description and click the merch button.